आंध्र प्रदेश स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल ऑनरेबल स्पीकर आंध्र प्रदेश स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर आई एम इमेंसली प्लीज टू वेलकम एंड कंग्रेचुलेट द न्यूली इलेक्टेड ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ द लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल to this joint session of the state legislature being convened for the first time after the general elections 2024 i would like to take this opportunity to commend the andhra people's active participation in the electoral process their inspiration for change has been unambiguous now the responsibility of fulfilling their aspirations lies with all of you honorable members you are aware that due to the supreme sacrifice of amara jeevi potti sri ramulu andhra pradesh was formed as the first linguistic state on 1st october 1953 with karnal as capital thereafter the state was recognized on 1st november 1956 and telugu speaking parts of hyderabad state were made into the combined andhra pradesh with hyderabad as capital accordingly a lot of telugu people moved to hyderabad again in june 2014 the people of andhra pradesh were forced to undergo another reorganization of their state the most damaging experience of all the united andhra pradesh was bifurcated unscientifically undemocratically and without adequate consultation with the stakeholders this has left an indelible mark on the minds of the people of the residual state of andhra pradesh the turbulence caused due to multiple state reorganizations and the resultant disruptions have deprived andhra people of a sustained long period development and progress <coughs> today we stand at a juncture where the people have to again take up the task of rebuilding their state as time has progressed it has become evident that the andhra pradesh reorganization act 2014 does not compensate enough the residual andhra pradesh for the loss of prosperity and development opportunities the state by 